In China, using QR codes to make mobile payments has become a normal part of people's everyday lives. And as more applications have been found for this technology, there's more and more you can do with just your phone. Nowadays, sending and receiving money, shopping, and even traveling can all be completed with just a QR code. Something you'll notice if you ever visit or even choose to live in China is just how much people value convenience and efficiency in their day-to-day -day lives. In the time of the Shanxi merchants, I've heard people would use one of these. It's a draft note, and I've heard that they would use them to enable them to do business anywhere that they travel, paying for things conveniently. So I'm really eager to learn a little bit more about it. <laughs> Hi, 所以, so we learned earlier about the Piaohao, that draft banking system. And now we've seen a tale unfold before us, the story of Joseph Edkins, the man to travel from abroad here to Shanxi to see what people here were creating. Edkins was an Englishman, much like me, and also really wanted to understand the magnitude of what the merchants made. He considered it the inception of China's banking system. In fact, other foreign writers didn't call it Piaohao or Chinese bank, they called it a Shanxi bank. Come on, come the Shanxi merchants had no choice but to travel for their work, and hundreds of years ago, this meant taking all their money with them. Transporting large amounts of money often took months. In the time of the Shanxi merchants, transporting large amounts of money was dangerous and physically demanding. But the merchants had no choice, so initially they hired mercenaries to protect their money. Later, they attempted to only transport money in the form of large silver blocks that couldn't be easily carried away. Finally though, through innovation and with the merchants' broad vision, bills of exchange, the Piaohao, were created. Yo 然后再拿那个上去 It's hard to believe that the Shanxi merchants were using watermarking technology 
I think that the spirit that brought about these innovations still very much exists in people today. And we're lucky that there are so many people around to maintain the merchant's legacy.汇老八万九千两上面的它有五种方言标记这叫图案范围印章范围有笔记范围它四角日深长记这叫水印范围这面的是密码叫票字天国下宝通它是什么意思呢你看我拿我的密码本给你解释一下啊金房假票冒取勿忘细思苏张这是十二个汉字它代表农历的十二个月我认识这两个哦这两个字天代表数字八下代表数字九这个这个这个是什么这个就是铜哦这个就是铜铜呢代表两万钱虽少事儿真大 so I just practiced writing two Chinese characters, Tian Xia. And this is a concept with a great many potential definitions, interpretations and meanings. But we can understand it to mean an infinite expanse, not constrained by things like time, space and geography. I think it's really clear how this concept shapes the spirit of the Shanxi merchants, making them so forward thinking, giving them their sense of entrepreneurialism and pioneering spirit. I think it's really clear how this spirit ultimately led to them innovating, creating things like the Piaohao, the draft bank system, and being able to spread their business across half of the world. But I don't think that this concept only influenced the Shanxi merchants, I think it influenced all of China. Think about those four key ancient inventions, printing, paper, gunpowder, the compass, th inventions that shaped the world and that made China the world's largest economy for 20 of the last 22 centuries. In my view, all of these achievements represent a spirit of enterprise that has been passed down from generation to generation and continues to drive progress and innovation to this day.